Hey guys, it is Betty Bean, aka Isabel, aka the girl you're gonna find out was a secret rebel back in middle school because today I'm gonna tell you about the time that I threw a stink bomb in class. Alright, so I feel like I did more things wrong in middle school than I did in high school, but I think that might be normal. I think that's because in middle school you don't really know much yet, so you're just going with the flow and you're like, ah. Oh. <sighs> Let's do it. Okay, so one time me and my family went up to I think this market or something in New Hampshire and my brother bought a pack of stink bombs. And you know, being the youngest one, looking up to your brother with a pack of stink bombs, thinking he's all cool, you're kind of just like, Ugh. So yep, that was me. So I was like, hey, can I have a stink bomb? And he was like, oh yeah, of course, dude. Just kidding, my brother doesn't talk like that. But he was basically like, yeah, go have fun. So I went to school the next day and me thinking I'm the <laughs> cool kid that I am, I walked in, I was like, oh man, when am I gonna throw this? So in my head, I thought I was just gonna throw it in the girls' bathroom, and that way it's like, well, who knows who went to the bathroom? Just kidding, they do, because we would always write the times that we went to the bathroom in and out. Well, the day was passing by, and then we got to workshop class. That's where we like cut things, and like work with wood, and make puzzles, and I don't know, we did a lot of fun things in that class, but I was like, this is it. Because this was a full class, but it wasn't a class that I was gonna stay in for the rest of the day. So in the middle of class, I looked to my friend, and I told him that I had a stink bomb, and I was like, okay, let's do it now. But you know, you both shaking you're both like oh man i don't want to this isn't that and then by the end of class i don't remember if it was me or him but we put it under our foot and we just let it rip it was like this little liquid inside of a glass bottle so we just put it under our feet and stepped on it and then class was almost over so the bell rang and we left and we were like okay whatever like we didn't even really get to feel the effects of it or anything like that so <laughs> let me go to our class and everything's normal and everything's fine and then it's lunchtime. Inside note, I did bad at MCAS that year, it was math. So I had to take another math class, but I finished it super quickly because I was only down by like one or two points. So since I had nothing to do for the rest of the year, I would just go to the elementary school next to us and teach the kids there. So I get to lunch and this is a small school, so word spreads quickly and everyone like found out it was me and they're like, oh my gosh, Isabel, you're so cool. And I'm over there like, what can I say? That's just me, Rebel Betty over here. <laughs> you're not in middle school, so when people think you're cool, you own it. You own it. You're like, hell yeah, I am, right? So then these boys started going up to me because you know the way boys are, and especially in middle school, they want to be like, oh, the tough guy, and they're like, Isabel, I want to buy stink bombs from you. And I was like, word? Mind you guys, I'm a business major. I've had this business mind of mine for quite a while. So the second I saw that I could make a profit out of this, I was like... <laughs> Let's get this business started. So that's first thing bomb that I threw turned into like a marketing campaign of mine because everyone in the school found out it was me and all the guys wanted to buy some. So mind you, my brother bought the entire pack for like one or two dollars and I'm over here trying to sell each one for five, but <laughs> you gotta hustle. So okay, lunch ended, I did my little hustle. As I was walking out, and remember how I have to walk to the other school to teach these kids math. So while I'm about to leave lunch to go to walk to the other school, the vice principal stops and comes to talk to me. And mind you, I've always tried to be good with the principals, but in a way that it's like, I'm gonna do what I want, but you at least like me, so I'm not gonna get punished just as bad as other kids do. Kind of like that. So like, if they would ever accuse me of something, I'd be like, <gasps> No, I would never do such a thing. I would have a relationship with the principals because I would always be late, like middle school, high school, everything. I would always be late. So I would be that kid that would get to know the principal because I would be in their office a lot, be, like signing the tardy slips and all, everything like that and trying to like get my way out of it and make jokes and all this. So he stops me and starts talking to me and I'm like, what up? You know, trying to act all cool, like nothing happened. Like I don't know about anything. And he's like, Isabel, come see me in my office. And I'm like, ah. And I thought they found out that I was selling it. Now throwing a stink bomb is pretty bad, but like selling things in the school, that's like even more intense. Plus that means that if anyone throws it, I'm gonna take the blame. So I'm gonna take the blame for everything. Anything stink mom related in the school would now be my fault because I'm the one selling it so I was like oh my god and as I'm walking to his room I'm just like freaking out I'm like he found out I sell I sound like a drug dealer 
But yeah, he finds out I sat like this is gonna happen. Oh man, I'm so scared. This is not. So I get to his office and it's him and my other teacher. Always try getting up in my business and I'm like, let me breathe. So they go and sit down to me and I had another incident, which I'll make a story tell about later. A couple of months back, so they look at me and they're like, Isabel, what are we gonna do with you? And I'm like, chill, like, it's, not, it's not even that serious, you know? And then the principal was like, oh, did you know we had to evacuate the entire room because of your incident? No one was able to use that at Rome for the entire day. Do you know how much disruption you caused? Do you know we had to move all these students to these other rooms and they didn't have any of the equipment they needed and I was just there like that's hilarious. <laughs> And I was just there like trying not to laugh, but to me that was so funny. Like one person can cause so much damage. The power. And they're like, I bet your parents are gonna be so angry and they're gonna be pissed because you know they met my mom over the things I did a couple months back but I was just like I was pissed that they even brought up the fact that my mom would be pissed like who do you think you are knowing my mom better than I know my mom like don't try to turn my mom against me right and my brother knew I was doing this my mom knew I was doing this like they didn't care if I do something serious then my mom cares but if I'm just being a kid and throwing a stink bomb like like she's not like that she doesn't care about like silly things she's like yeah have fun so they're like oh I bet your brother would be so mad to hear about this and I'm just saying like oh uh, yeah cuz he knows about this and they're like oh well I bet your mom would be so mad about this I'm like yeah cuz my mom knows about this too like I'm that type of student where if you try to go at me I'm gonna go at you so like they were like trying to throw facts at me and spit in my face like oh everyone's gonna be so pissed at you and I'm like bruh nobody is pissed here except for you like everyone's fine with the situation like just chill it was a prank like it's not that serious and the teacher that would always try to be up in my business she was like Isabel I heard that like you're going down the wrong path and I'm like are you serious I threw a stink bomb like what, what are you saying? Like, you don't know me. I feel like teachers, sometimes they think that they know you, and it's like you have no idea what's going on in my life. You have no idea my friends. Like, all you hear is probably, like, stupid little gossip in your classroom, you know? So after I get lectured by these people and told that I'm going down the wrong path, mind you, I'm 12 at this point. I'm in seventh grade, I think. So it's like, I understand your concern, but how could you possibly know what path I'm going down at 12 years old? You know what I mean? Like, you have no idea the person I'm going to turn into. So after that was all done, and I was kind of just like, I wasn't laughing while they were telling me all of this because I would have gotten in more trouble, but I was kind of just like, when is it gonna be over? Then I was like, hold up, like, how do you guys even know it was me? And they were just like, you do know we have cameras, right? And I was like, oh, that makes sense. When I looking back at it, it's like they were such liars. They just said that, so I could believe it because it's like, what camera do you have that's pointed at students' feet? Just in case they release a stink bomb. Like, what? But I mean, the whole school, all the students knew it was me, so I feel like it wouldn't be that hard for the teachers to find out it was me. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll let you have it. <laughs> And I don't remember what happened, like what my punishment was. I know I've gotten suspended before, but I think I've only gotten suspended once and it wasn't for this. So I don't think I was suspended, but I don't think I got just the detention because the way they are, they would try to make a point so other students wouldn't throw stink bombs or anything like that. So I don't really remember what happened to me, but clearly it wasn't that bad if I don't remember it. So moral of the story, even if you do something wrong in school, always remember, you can still make money for it. And also it's not that bad. I mean, I don't know what middle school you go to, but if you do something wrong in middle school, it's not gonna go on your record. No college is gonna find out. It's not that serious, you know? So don't stress, just be a kid, just have fun, just do stupid shit. So yeah, guys, that was the time I threw a stink bomb in school and made some extra money on the side. But yeah, guys, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below if you like story times. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends, and yeah, Bye, guys.